Hello, my name is McCory James, and today we're going to be photographing Brian Voigt. He's the CEO here at the Denver Botanic Gardens. We're going to be doing shots in a couple different locations. First one will be here in these beautiful Japanese gardens, and then we're going to go inside the conservatory and photograph him in more of a tropical plant setting. So, hope you enjoy the shoot. As you can see, we had a beautiful fresh dusting of snow the day before, and we thought it was perfect to shoot the CEO of the Denver Botanic Gardens in a snowy setting. Unfortunately, the magazine didn't agree and selected a photo from later on when we shot in the conservatory. But this made for a beautiful setting and it was a lot of fun to shoot in. One of the biggest challenges was that we were shooting in snow. Whenever you're shooting in a snowy setting, um, getting the exposure correct for the snow so you have detail in the snow, but the snow doesn't look dirty and gray, um, can be somewhat of a challenge, especially when you have a separate subject that you're trying to light. Since we were on location where we didn't have access to electricity, and didn't want to drag out a battery pack or generator. We just shot with our speed lights. We shoot with Nikon SB 100s. You can see Ryan setting one of them up here. We actually ended up shooting with two just to give us a quicker recycle time. We had quite a bit of light bouncing around with the snow, so we just um, put them in the same location to create directional light and to create depth on our subject, Brian's face. So we had Brian step out in the snow here. He was a real gamer because obviously his feet were cold, but um, I had him step off the path because it was a muddy path and I didn't want that to show up in the photos. I wanted to give it a nice clean look that looked like you could be anywhere in a natural outdoor setting. So when I'm shooting here, I'm just trying multiple different poses, having him pull his jacket back, having him cross his arms, look away from the camera, look over his shoulder, look at the camera. The magazine Lux that I'm shooting for has a pretty specific look that they use quite a bit, so I try and make sure that I capture what I think um, that they're going to use based off of what I've seen previously and what they've published of mine in the past. One of the um, challenges in a situation like this is just working fast. Your subject is standing in the snow. You don't want him to um, get uncomfortable because that shows in the photos. After shooting outside, we went into the conservatory, which is a tropical plant setting at the Botanic Gardens. When I first started setting up to shoot, Brian naturally was just leaning back, kind of looking around, and I saw it as a comfortable, relaxed pose and asked him to do it again because he actually stopped and looked at the camera when I started taking pictures. This is the photo that Lux actually ended up using for the magazine. It's really important that you're aware of what your subject is doing at all times, even when you're just setting up sometimes, because when they're more comfortable and relaxed and natural, a lot of times that's your best shot. Not necessarily when they're looking at the camera or they're doing what you're asking them to do. So again here, we're setting up multiple poses. Having him, um, use, we're getting different backdrops by having him move around. One of the tough things when you're shooting an environment like this is to make sure of what's in the background. To make sure that nothing is um, popping up out of his head or... Um, poking him in the head um, in the photograph itself. So then the other thing is to get poses that just feel comfortable and relaxed. And the easiest way to do that is not in your pose itself, but actually just in working with your subject to where they're comfortable and enjoying the work with you. If you're able to do that, they're a lot more comfortable and it really shows in the photos and you're able to get photos that you're really proud of. So that was all for this shoot. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check us out either on my website or you can become a fan at Facebook. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.